Hello guys, I'm Mark. Uh, time to do another video. Haven't been doing a lot of videos lately. Don't have a lot coming in. Sort of been cutting back just a tad bit. Sort of off a week without pay. So um, I did, however, go buy some. Uh, been looking on Craigslist for stuff and uh, got some rookies and stars rookies from a, a friend of mine down the road who listed these on Craigslist which are base rookie cards Kyle Petty, Tyler Lockett, Devontae Parker, Jay Ajaya, Tony Lippett, Mike Davis, Eric Armstrong, Eli Harold, uh, Cameron Artis Payne, Stefan Anthony, Ron Darby, uh, Desmond Lewis, uh, Nelson Archer, Josh Shaw, Brian Bennett, Jalen Collins, Justin Hardy, Amir Abdullah, Abla Gada, <laughs> Trey Flowers, he's a, yeah. Uh, David Johnson, <laughs> uh, Kevin Johnson, huh? Got two Johnsons back to back. Kevin Johnson for the Texans and David Johnson for the Cardinals. Uh, uh, Bernardrick McKinney, Jalen Strong, uh, Dan. Daniel Hunter, Taylor Hennick, Hennicky, uh, Eric Kendrick, Danny Shelton, uh, Ozigi Dua, heard my giant, Shane, Shane Ray, Sammy Coates, Jesse James, <coughs> um, Doriel Green Beckham. No, he's not related to Odell. Um, Juan Alexander, Sean Mannon, Mannion, Matt Jones, uh, Shane Carden, Jerry Langford, Eddie Goldman, uh, Ed Wallace, Marcus Peters, Chris Conley, Clive, some Clive Walford. Mari Cooper, um, uh, Mario Edwards, Cody Pajaro, um, Ty Montgomery, Brett Hundley, TJ Helton, uh, Rashad Green, and Ben Yo Yoick. Yeah, Yoick. <coughs> and those are that. And, uh, uh I got these in from um, Jaspie's Breaks. Um, it had a note with it that says 21 and 25 on it on the note, but I looked on these and I don't see a 21 or 25 on the card anywhere. I don't know if I'm missing it or what, but I don't see any numbers. <coughs> but anyway, <coughs> I have the car <coughs> the Cardinals. Excuse me. Been going through it. My uh, throat's been tingling all day long. I don't know. I may be coming out with a cold. I don't know what you call these. But I got into a Topps Tech break. Um, didn't get no hits. I just got two cards. Uh, had the Cardinals, and they did not hit. They had. They're, they're one of the teams that usually hits the most, and I didn't get anything. So I got two Ozzy Smith cards. If anybody wants them for their set, there's a bubble. I guess that's what you call bubbles, or I don't know what they call them. Bubbles. And 
I don't know what to call this either. But uh, there's the other Ozzy, Ozzy Smith. If anybody wants them, just uh, send me a PM or a message. I'll link my Facebook down below. That way you can contact me there because some of you guys don't apparently don't know how to use the YouTube message program anymore. So you don't want to go find it. That's good. All in good. And um, I got uh, I was looking on eBay for my Excalibur set. My goal is to get all the cards, except for except for the one of ones. If they get sent to me in a care package or whatnot, that's all good and dandy. But I'm not looking for any handouts on the one of ones if you guys have them. But <clears throat> I mean, if you want to give them to me, that's fine. But I don't expect anything. So, and I I, I know you guys don't. You know, just don't send stuff out of the goodness of your heart because you have it. But, um, I mean, it's nice that we do that, but you don't have to. So, um, that's what I was trying to say. But anyway, um, I got two cards. Actually, one of them is in this pile. I have to go looking for it. It's not very far down the pile. I bought two cards. For the set I got the base card I got the base card the base card and the red card or the gold and here is the red it's called juggernauts uh, base card but it's numbered 11 of 99 <coughs> got that card uh, about a week ago got that card and then yesterday now this one is a really really rare card it's not numbered but it's really really rare just for the simple fact that they only put one of these in a case and it would probably take me probably five or six cases to even think about getting one there's 60 60 cards in the set, I believe. And so I guess I would have to open about 60 cases to get one. So I just went ahead and bought one. I bid on two, got outbid on the first two. And the next day, a friend of mine, John Westerfield, showed me this and uh, said, hey, just shoot him an offer. What, what, what would you pay for this? You know, that sort of thing. So I... Um, I put down my minimum bid that I would be willing to pay for it and to give me some room to work up to it and everything. And uh, we come to a good, I think, a good fair deal because this card looks way more than what that guy sell, sold it to me. Uh, I don't care what eBay final value sales are. When I first seen these on eBay, they were going for like three, four hundred dollars a piece. Now I'm assuming they still would right now, but uh, but anyway, this card right here is a Kaboom card, and uh, this is one of the cards that I need for my Vince Carter uh, Excalibur set that I'm building, and it's a real easy set. All it is is four, I think. Four different parallel base cards, one numbered parallel base card. Uh, you got your Crusade, different colors. Um, I think I need the one numbered to five and the one numbered to ten on the Crusade cards. If you guys have them, let me know. I'd be willing to trade or buy them. Uh, but this one is the Kaboom card. These are sweet. And um, a friend of mine also told me that these, the original Kaboom cards came in the Innovation, uh, the 13-14 Basketball Innovation. And the cards, Vince Carter's Kaboom card in that goes sideways like that. The, the Kaboom goes sideways, not 
top ways. It doesn't go this way. It goes down this way and Vince Carter's sideways like this. He's standing up like this. But, um, and they look more realer. These look like they've been um, uh, artist sketch. But anyway, these are real nice. Kaboom, Vince Carter from the Grizzlies. And I'm assuming last year, Innovation put him as um, the Mavericks. So um, I'm sort of glad that he's in with the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, I'm hoping they make it to the playoffs this year. Um, I know they won one of their games last week. I haven't really been paying attention to basketball lately, but but um, I'm sort of putting my football PC on hold right now. I'm not too interested in it anymore. So um, nothing. The products out there this year are so boring. Some of them, you know. Uh, I don't know why. I'm just not interested in football this year. Um, but um, I'm just trying to get back into my Vince Carter groove. As Tommy Goff would say, back in the New York groove. Mm. Mm. Back in the New York groove. Anyway, on the back, it has that. It's basically, that looks like he has no legs or he's on his knees. <laughs> or something like that. But anyway, that's a nice card. It's a good candidate for PSA. And uh, I'll probably send this one in with my next submission too. Um, with that, with that, the seller also sent me um, ringing endorsements Excalibur card of... Jeff Teague, it's a jersey card, non-numbered, and uh, Fresh Faces, PJ Harrison, die cut, <coughs> non-numbered. <coughs> if anybody PCs these guys, I'll be willing to trade them, or you can buy them from me, whatnot. Um, see anything else come in? Um, and I'm happy that the Kansas City Royals won their game, their their series. Um, and uh, I got these cards for trade: Brandon Finnegan rookie card from Tops, from the Kansas City Royals; uh, Terrence Gore from the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Brandon, another Brandon Finnegan from the Royals. Um, this came with the uh, the rookies and stars that I bought from Craigslist. Uh, JJ Watt Gold, numbered uh, 25. Um, these cards right here are from cards that I bought somebody, and turns out that I bought. The right ones, but I found the ones that he sent me, so I'm going to go ahead and trade these away because I don't need them. Joe Smith, Mystery Finest Refractor, 1996. Um, this one is Damon Stademeyer, the Mystery Finest Refractor. Um, Gary Payton, Mystery Finest uh, Non-refractor. Uh, Reggie Miller. Mystery Finest Refractor. And Mitch Richmond. Mystery Finest Refractor. <clears throat> that goes booked for like a dollar or something like that. And here's some more cards. <coughs> came out of the uh, Rookies and Stars pack. Nine of 99. Um, longevity purple. I guess that's purple. Uh, Jarvis Johnson. Kevin Johnson. From the Texans. 
um, Colin Kaepernick and Mike Davis stitches, rookies and stars stitches and time. Tom Brady and Marcus Mariota. That one right there, I looked it up. That's pretty high card right there. Looks cheap, but it's pretty high card. It's not numbered. Uh, probably about 20 bucks on that card. But I wouldn't ask 20 bucks for it. Uh, so it's either for trade or for sale. Or make me an offer. Uh, 237 to 299. Uh, Leonard Williams. Die cut rookie. Red. Uh, Darren Whaler. 1 of 25 gold rookie card. Uh, Joe Namath Crusade, uh, Magic Johnson NBA, um, them things that hang from the ceilings, whatever they're called, they have their NBA champion championships on. This one is uh, probably about fifteen bucks, the high book on it, but I'll let it go for less than that. Just make me an offer somewhere. And this card has like a, a felt cover on the white. Has like a felt cover on it. So it's not numbered. But uh, it's a nice card. And of course, can't have a uh, thing without Matt Forte. Matt Forte die cut card. And uh, that's all I have on that. Let's see here. I also went to a yard sale this weekend and picked up a hell of a lot of Vince Carter cards in one, one swoop. Um, I have most of these, but uh, I think some of them are damaged. I'll have to look through these. Here's a Carolina card. I think this came out of the uh, the Jordan, whatever it is they had back then. Uh, Vince Carter Prism. Uh, up Tempo, Vince Carter. Up Tempo, that's sweet. I like that one. Uh, Prestige, Vince Carter. Uh, there's a Fleer Vince Carter. It looks like a Topps, huh? It's got a gray border. Here's his rookie card. Topps rookie card. I sent one of those off to PSA. Uh, Fleer. No, this is Skybox Premium Vince Carter. Skybox Premium. There was a parallel to that I'd like to have. And I was happy about I was happy to get this. Uh, Topps Chrome, ref, uh, not the refractor, but the base. Topps Chrome base. Um, sort of looking for the refractor. Anybody has it? I know it's a lot of money, but uh, probably could work out something. Um, here's a Topps. I think this is 2006 Topps. I think that was the last year they made them too. Well, there's another Top Spence Carter rookie card. There's another one of them Carolina cards. Uh, sent one of these off to PSA already. And I had this one uh, in a 8, an 8.5. And I don't think that one would get any better grade. That one would probably come back a seven because it's the back of it. The center is like really close to the borders. I mean, it really looks close. But the front is off center left to right. I don't know what the deal was there. You got your highlights, Ben's Carter. <clears throat> The uh, 1998, um, I think this is Press Pass, Blue Parallel. They have an autographed version of this, too. Thinking about getting 
Oh, there's a double diamond black. Black diamond, double diamond. I have the single diamond. That one will for sure go to PSA. And we've got uh, Marquis, Vince Carter. I think I got one of those at PSA. Uh, I haven't ever seen this one. Right there. It's uh, Top's Finest. It's probably 2000. Uh, Vince Carter's Slam Acetate card. That card looks pretty dirty. We'll see. Looks like it's scratched up pretty bad. Here's another Top's Finest. Oh, this one's numbered to 1500. Well, back in them days, that was pretty damn good. It's like having a card numbered to 299 now. 907 and 1500. Uh, Vince Carter Encore. Vince Carter Encore. The last card I got from there was a 7. Another Prism, Vince Carter. Yeah, I just went through his box and looked at all the Vince Carter cards. Uh, this one has the White Howard and Vince Carter. So I grabbed that one. And this one's pretty neat. Uh, it's a picture of his Raptor jersey. Uh, it's called EX Ex Exciting. It's not numbered. It's card number two of ten. Those ten cards in this parallel set. And this one's pretty good. Generation EX from EX Century. That's probably 2000. Yeah, 2000, 2001. Uh, Vince Carter Finest Sensations. That's from the 1998-99 series of Finest. I remember that insert because I pulled three or four of those. There's a version uh that's got the coating on it. There's a refractor version. And then there's a non-refractor version. There's four versions of this card. I think the refractor is numbered to like 120 or 1200 or something like that. I don't know. And uh, this one right here I haven't never seen. I've never owned. It came from Fleer. And uh, let me look and see what year it is. 2001 Fleer, but I've never seen the card. The card number is 2 of uh, 14 because there's 14 and 14 cards in the set. Um, the set is called, the parallel set is called All American. And uh, there is a graded version of this on eBay right now, but I think he wants like 25 or 24 bucks for it. It's PSA 10. I don't blame him, but. I don't know. This is a dollar card. I don't know if $25 is really fair. Might shoot him an offer, but that, that one right there would probably get a 9. Maybe a 10. It's centered perfect on the back. <coughs> the front is perfectly centered. Now if I look at it real close through the microscope when I do it, if it turns out okay, I might send that one in because it's a really nice card. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys this this week. 23, 24 seconds. And that's all I got. Oh, yeah. Uh, that right there. That right there was in my yard. And <clears throat> I think they forgot to put one in my yard during Labor Day or fourth of july and these were all over my neighborhood so i picked mine up and brought it in and uh ricky russo still haven't forgot your pictures your pictures are still up there and christopher your uh mini eli manning jersey still up there that you gave me so we'll catch you guys later bye bye